Hello friends, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about understanding of network and internet, topic of computer network. Let us see the outline of this video. The first one is what is network, what is computer network, what is internet and the last one is protocols and standards. How internet deals with the protocols and standards. Let us start with what is network. So basic definition of network is a group or system of interconnected people or things. It is called network. So this is the basic definition of networks. So based on this definition, see some examples. First one is group of peoples. Here we can say there are the group and people. So group of people uh, which is on social media. So we can say it is WhatsApp, it is Facebook, it is Twitter. So that is called one network or we can say it is social network. Next one, railway tracks. There are different railway tracks are connected with each other. So this is railway network. Same as railway network, we can say there is highways. There are number of roads connected with each other. Next, branch offices connected with head office. The best example of connection of branch and head office is banking system. Next, what is computer network? Two or more computers connected with each other it is called a computer network. See in this figure, there are number of computers are connected with each other with the intermediate devices. Here intermediate devices are hub, switch or router. So there are different computer networks are there. First one is intranet and second one is internet. So what is intranet and what is internet? Intranet means the local network which is uh, limited to one building or we can say one floor or two floor one or two building connected with each other it is called intranet and internet is a group of network now discuss about internet what is internet the internet is a type of worldwide computer networks so example of internet is like that uh, here i am in india and i want to access server uh, services from the server and server is located in the USA. So how can I access the services from the server? So there are different networks in between uh, India and America connected with each other. So through the different networks, I can access the services from the server. So that is called internet. Internet is a network of network. So for internet also we can say uh, there are number of networks like academic, business and government networks connected with each other and which carry various information and services from each other. Internet is a global communication access through the web. Internet deals with the protocol and standards. So what we can do through internet, we all know that uh, like email services, web access and services and the file transfer. Next, what is protocol? A protocol is a set of rules that governs the data communication. Uh, I have given example to get better understanding of the protocol. Uh, whenever you join the job, uh, before joining the job, you must check all the rules of the company or industry which you have to join. So all that rules are combined together and it makes a one protocol that is called a protocol. So here also for the internet, whenever you transfer the data from one computer to another computer through the internet. So there are number of rules are there. So that all rules or we can say set of rules, it is called the internet protocol. Internet protocol defines the method of communication, how to communicate, when to communicate, etc. For example, one PC is uh, located in network X and another PC is located in network Y. When uh, communication between these two PC there are the different network X and Y so how can the different pieces connected with each other and how to communicate with each other and how the data transfer with each other so it is defined by the protocols protocol works with three different key elements first one is syntax syntax means format of data or we can say structure of data how it pretend for example there is one uh, data stream is given over here uh, how can we format the data stream? The first 8 bit of the data stream is the sender address. Next 8 bit we can see in green color it is the uh, receiver address and the remaining bits are the original message or we can say information or data. So this is the syntax. Second one 
semantic semantic means meaning of each section or each bits or we can say each block of bits here the address bits are root of transmission so here the sender and this is the receiver how sender will communicate with the receiver and which route will be taken by the data from sender to receiver so this is the semantic and the last one is timing timing means at what time data can be sent and how fast data can be sent or received so based on timing we can say our internet speed is 50 mbps 100 mbps 1 gbps 30 mbps so we can say number of bytes will be transferred within a second next standard standard provides the guideline for the manufacturers vendors government agencies and service providers here manufacturer means there are a lot of different devices or we can say intermediate devices are used to connect different networks so there are the proper guideline or we can say proper standards are there for the manufacturers also for the service providers service providers uh, here one service provider in another location there are different service provider so both are how communicate with each other or we can say how both the service provided connected different network with each other next standards help in maintaining market competitiveness and guarantees interoperability next data communication standard are two categorized the first one is de facto de facto means by facts or by convention the standards that are not approved by the orga any organization but are widely used are de facto standards they are established by the manufacturer second one is de jure de jure means by law or by regulation these are the standards that are recognized officially by an organization so i will give you two different example to understanding of the de facto and de jure here a uh, one example for de facto uh, html is the markup language and it is used to make a structure of website here html is de facto uh, if you want to uh, make your own markup language you can no need to uh, approval or no need to standards for this so it is called de facto here de jure de jure means it by law or by regulation or we can say approved by any of the authority here uh, we can say a wireless network so wireless network works with ieee 802.11 abgn so this is called dju because it is approved by the any of the committees or we can say any of the organizations